Those are the tourists fleeing down the stairs of the Washington Monument during the earthquake of the summer of 2011. Well, today, nearly a thousand days after it closed for repairs, the monument reopened, and Nancy Cordes talked to one of the first visitors. So this Washington Monument is dead center of everything. And then Jason here, Dumont teaches civics and U.S. history in Longwood, Florida, near Orlando. Like most middle school teachers, he's always looking for ways to inspire his adolescents. <laughs> Something else that's very important about George Washington? About a year ago, Dumont discovered that students like Giselle Alexander like to look at the travel photos he posted on Instagram. Like one day you might show us pictures about Africa and then we'll have an assignment on Africa and it all like ties together and it makes it a lot more fun. He did the same with Paris, Iceland, Genoa and Machu Picchu. I want them to go those places someday. I want them to see, you know, how exciting that can be and how doable it is. You know, I'm a teacher. I'm not rich by any means. You know, I save up and I use my time in the summer to go one of those places. And, it, you know, if I can do it, there's no reason they can't. So when the U.S. Department of Interior announced that 12 Instagram users would be among the first to tour the newly refurbished Washington Monument, Dumont applied and won. Do all your students kind of feel like they won too? I hope they do. I hope that they see what I'm taking and they get excited about it and they hopefully come on their own. Naturally, he brought his camera. Which view is your favorite? Uh, the Western view with the Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln's my favorite president, so that's definitely the thing that I get most excited when I see. It's the first time the public has been allowed inside since that 5.8 magnitude earthquake in August of 2011. Workers wrapped the monument in scaffolding, fixing 665 feet of cracks to the marble and granite. Is it higher than you thought? Yes. Now that it's reopened, it's retaking its place as a living classroom, both for students who visit and for those who can't. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, 555 feet above Washington.